And today I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that rainwater that's in the ground around your pool. This is the pump that we're using. This will go for about a good 45 minutes. So, so, so. what most pool owners are probably going through right now. We had like a, almost a week worth of rain. We had a tropical system that moved up our coast and it um, dumped a lot of rain. I think we had maybe six or seven inches of rain in a four day period. Some things we had to do with the pool when you get that much rain. Um, when it happened, the pool filled up. I mean, filled up to the top where the water was overflowing out which is okay, you know, you know you're gonna have that. Um, but the next time I would know to probably let a little bit of water out before those big storms come through. We get them maybe once or twice a year. But anyway, when the pool fills up like that, the skimmer cannot catch the leaves and stuff that are coming in the pool. And this is the skimmer. It catches all the leaves and that water goes back into the filter, which filters back out onto the pool. Well, when the rains came, we couldn't do that because the pool was full. So what we did is I washed the water out of the pool, what they call washing. And all it does is just let water out of the pool. But the other ground container contains water from the ground. It's not water in the pool, it's water around the pool in the ground. And you have to have that because if you backfilled your pool with sand, that sand is going to get wet and it's going to shift and the pool is going to shift. But because nowadays they're building these pools with um, backfilling them with rhino rock, it's much easier. The pool is not going to move because that rock is, the gravel is steady. It's not going to move at all. But you're still going to have rain water from the ground. So they built these to catch that rain water. And today I'm going to show you how to get rid of that rain water that's in the ground around your pool and what I'm going to use is a sump pump it's a superior uh, pump assembly one-third horsepower this is very good I pumped some of it yesterday and it's a lot of water in the ground I'm going to use the hose that comes with the pool my extension cord which is going to plug into the pump and I'm going to use a garden hose to lower it down because you don't want to pull it up by the electrical cables so that's what I'm going to be doing this morning and the water is going to drain and it's a lot of water, I mean a lot, it'll probably take about 45 minutes to drain. I'm not a professional, but being a pool owner you, you learn these things on the go. I have my two assistants here who are very good at getting in the way, matter of fact they're experts in that field. So, what we're going to do is we're going to connect our pipe on first. See that all the way down. And then I'm going to take this garden hose. Since I don't have any rope, this is the next best thing. Just put that on here. This is so I can pull it up. Okay. Then I'm going to lower it down into the pool without connecting the power. Before I do that, I want to put my pipe in. Lay it all out now. Now we're going to drop this pump down into the water. Like I said, this is the pump that we're using. Okay. We're going to plug in now. Mm -hmm. 
immediately the water starts to pump. And this will go for about a good 45 minutes at 30 um, groundwater. Water the lawn. And that's how you connect your pump. That concludes my presentation for this morning. Share. Subscribe. Click the bell, please.